It's not very often that you run into a 3D title from the late 90s that is still impressive. Most PS1 and N64 games have aged more like milk than wine, and the graphics can be an eyesore today compared to the stunning capability of 1080p. Much more important, however, is the playability of the games and how much fun you'll have with them. One series from the late 90s, however, broke the mold and became timeless in both its presentation and fun factor through the joy of automobile racing. And in its first sequel, grabbed the gaming world by the ball bearings. Developers Polyphony Digital, publisher Sony Computer Entertainment, and lead designer Kazunori Yamauchi decided to capitalize off the unprecedented success of their highly acclimated racing title, Gran Turismo, and took it back to the studio for a shinier coat of paint, and this time there's two discs with almost 650 cars and 27 racetracks for you to tear up. It's a rice burner's playground in Gran Turismo 2 arcade mode, and the performance of this game will make you come back to the track again and again, in quite possibly the best racing game of its time. The reason you should try out the arcade mode first is because everything is there for you to use without having to unlock anything by budgeting cash or winning trophies. Basically, there's more room for error, and trust me, if it's your first time with any Gran Turismo game, you want to get as much practice in as possible before you tackle the more difficult simulation mode. The premise of Arcade is simple. You have a choice of three types of races. Pick one and it's off to the garage where you select one of many vehicles, likely in Jay Leno's personal collection at the time. Hell, there's so many cars to choose from they have to be split up into three classes. From the top A class, including cars like the Lotus Elise Sport and the Mazda RX-7, all the way down to the city driver class that includes cars you'll see in rush hour traffic, like the Volkswagen Golf or the all too familiar Mini Cooper. Compete in rally mode to take command of supercharged vehicles like the Peugeot 206 and race that sucker on a tough and bumpy dirt road, arguably the most fun I've had driving any car in this game. As cliche as it may sound, GT2's controls feels like you are actually in the driver's seat, since the speed and more importantly the handling for each vehicle is different. Each level is beautifully designed as well, stocked with product placement, clear blue skies, and shiny vehicle detail. You almost feel bad about trading paint during a road race. Even if the control takes some getting used to, there's nothing like the feeling of beating your best time by a hundredth of a second, or making the final pass towards the finish line on the racetrack against the ethereal ghost car that mimics every move you made on the previous lap. After you've reached the checker flag, there is a replay mode where you can watch it all happen again. Gran Turismo 2 Arcade delivers impressive racing action and gorgeous detail in a game that will still impress you in the new year of 2012. <laughs>